everybody, it's Manny and I'm back with another video. I wanted to make a very quick video so that I could show everyone the newest addition to my listing workflow with Accelerlist. Now our friends at Accelerlist are constantly coming up with new ideas and trying to remove obstacles that are in front of us as sellers. Uh, so one of the things that they have just rolled out here in the last couple days is a box content feature for those of us that prefer to list in private mode or in a bulk listing type of mode. Now you Accelerlist users out there, you know that they've already had API uh, box content features, as well as uh, 2D barcode features, but those applied to live mode. If you listed in private mode or bulk mode, you really had to come up with box contents on your own, whether you used uh, the web form on uh, Amazon Seller Central side, or if you came up with a separate feature to, uh, to do it, such as the box content tool uh, through the book flipper. But the cool thing now is that you're able to list in private mode or in bulk mode. You're able to create those shipments to Amazon Seller Central and there's now a tool in Exceller List that you can use to pull up those specific shipment IDs and you can create box content information via a 2D barcode. Now most other aspects of my workflow are going to stay the same. I'm going to go ahead and put in the YouTube card a workflow video that I used when I was listing in live mode as well as information on how to properly uh, use 2D barcodes and box content information. So with that, let's get started and let's uh, let's talk about this particular tool. What I've already done is I've already listed a couple of uh, dud CDs, uh, CDs that are not viable for Amazon FBA, but are more than adequate for me to show off this tool. I've already listed them. I've listed them in private mode and I've already sent that feed over to Amazon. Uh, I was lucky enough that Amazon did not split them, so I've got four CDs on the shipment that I can show you how to use this tool with. So now that I'm ready to create box content information, I've got my shipment created, my items are already listed, and my items are labeled with the Amazon FN SKU labels. So with that, what you want to do is you want to go over here to list, and when you click on list, you're going to see two options, history and box contents. Now history is what it always was. You can go in there and you can see all of your active batches as well as your completed batches. Now when you click on box contents, it's going to pull up every active working shipment that you have in Amazon Seller Central. The only one that I've got up and running right now is the one that I'm using for the purposes of this test. And you can always verify those by comparing the shipment IDs that you have in Amazon. And if you have multiple shipments because you got split or whatever the case is, you may want to make sure that you're in the correct shipment when you start doing that. But that's easy enough for us. Let me show you what happens when you click on this. Over on the right, you're going to see that your shipment is going to expand. You're going to see how many SKUs are available in there. Now, I've already messed around with it, so I've got a couple of boxes that are created here. But the first thing you would typically see is this blue box up here, and it would ask you if you want to uh, add a new box for the shipment. You would have to click Add a Box, and box number one would come up. You'd go in here, and you would hit Work on Box, and everything that you were to scan in would actually be uh, getting saved into box number one of this shipment. So what I'm going to do, even though I've only got four SKUs, I'm going to pretend that it's a really big shipment and I'm going to use them just to show you how you can split these boxes up. So what you want to do is you want to be putting your information right in here. So when you click on that and you see the cursor, this is where you're able to scan the items. Now, what you, like I said before, you want to make sure that you're scanning the FN SKU labels. So these items should already be labeled with the SKU that Amazon uses. Now, when you would Basically, you would just go in there and you would scan that first one and the first one pops up and you would see the SKU, the ASIN, the FN SKU number and one out of one. Now, this is the first item in box number one and you would move on to the next item. So now you've got two items in there and I would scan all the way through until I had filled up my first box and closed her up and I was ready to move on to the second box. Now just a little tip, when, when you're handling multiple boxes, it's a really good idea to make sure you uh, easily uh, can di differentiate the boxes. So if you have to, write box number one on that box so that you don't confuse them or mix them up. 
When you're done with box number one and you're ready to create box number two, you would hit new box. And as soon as you do that, you would go into a brand new box and you would continue to scan. But this is how you differentiate and this is how you communicate to Amazon which items are in which box. You would hit new box and you would see now that your current box has changed. I'm now in box number two and I just keep on going. Get that one in there. Get that one in there. And you just keep on going until you're done and you have every single item that you can fit in those boxes uh, sectioned off to those boxes. Now what you're going to notice here is that you can go and you can just keep on creating new boxes as you know depending on how big your shipment is you can always go back and you can see that in box number one I happen to have two SKUs and box number two I happen to have two SKUs so you can always see what you've got going on and you can always at any given time you can click on these boxes and you can go into the box that you want when you are ready and you are finished you don't have to communicate anything to Amazon you're gonna be working with 2d barcodes since you are going to be communicating this to Amazon through 2D barcodes, in case you haven't done so already, just a little reminder, you're going to want to go into Seller Central and under Settings in your FBA settings, you're going to want to update so that your 2D barcodes are enabled. Now, the beautiful thing about 2D barcodes is that you don't have to communicate electronically to Amazon any of this information. So if you use them, that's great. If you don't use them, Amazon doesn't know about it. It's really up to you. It adds a lot of flexibility and it gives you more options. So all you're going to do is once you're done, you go back and you know you go box by box. And what you want to do is you just want to print the label. Now you're going to have the 2D barcode come up and you're going to want to print these. Now if I can give you any advice at all, it would be to uh, do a little test print and if it's coming up too large you definitely want to go into uh, advanced settings and bring the scale down from 100 to about 60 to 75 or so and that should help everything fit on one page all you have to do is print out that 2d barcode make sure that you uh, put it on the correct box just like any other label and that's all you have to do what will happen is that when Amazon receives that the, the Amazon coworker is going to scan that 2D barcode and they are going to see on their screen everything that you say is in the box. And it really is just that easy to comply with providing box content information. It doesn't have to be a painful process, folks. Uh, you now have more options and you can continue to list within your workflow or you can add this to what you're doing currently. But here's the question of the day. What is your current workflow and is this box content tool something that's going to make its way into your process? Go ahead and put in your comments down below because all of us are constantly adapting. Well, that's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this one, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to support the channel. If you haven't already liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and tap on that book bag. And while you're in there, hit that bell so that you get those bell notifications in line and you don't miss any new videos. Until next time, let's go make some money.